Hey everybody, my name is Jose Ravello and I'm a Solutions Architect at Accelera Solutions. Uh, so today what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through uh, the upgrade process of upgrading a storefront 2.6 site to a storefront 3.0. Uh, but first I want to touch on a couple of things, a couple of the themes with this particular upgrade. Uh, really, um, Citrix has uh, taken a lot of time to kind of rethink the end user experience uh, around uh, storefront and around receiver, right? Uh, and so the main theme of this upgrade is really about consistency. So if you're on the latest versions of receiver, native receiver, or uh, receiver for smart smartphones and tablet devices, um, you actually can take advantage of this. Uh, so you have that consistent look and feel. Uh, you can create branding uh, once, right, and that carries over to uh, all of your devices. So uh, one of the requests that we had from customers when Citrix released us, uh, the original version of Storefront was, hey, I understand that I can customize the web-based version of, of Receiver or Storefront. Why can't I customize a native version? Uh, and, and the great thing now is that Citrix allows us uh, to do that. As part of that, uh, that native experience, uh, Citrix also simplified navigation. Uh, so now you have kind of three key tabs on the very top of the page for the user subscribed applications. Uh, they can browse all the applications in the store uh, and so on. Uh, there's the Citrix also created the ability uh, for application bundles. So now what you can do is you can group similar uh, applications together, right, and make them available to your end users to subscribe to as a bundle. And then probably the other notable change uh, with this version of Storefront is the fact that now we have a traditional folder view back. So that was the other thing too, as people migrated from web interface to storefront, they lost the ability to navigate uh, through storefront in a folder view. Uh, so now that's been restored with this version. And then probably the last thing that I'll talk about is customization. Uh, so there are built-in tools into the admin console in order for you to be able to make some changes, customizations to, to storefront and receiver. Uh, and then you have other choices, right? So you can get as granular and deep into customizing storefront as you want to. So let's get started. And here I am logging into my storefront environment. This is before the upgrade. And as you can see, I'm using the green bubble theme. And uh, I have access to my virtual desktops. I have access to my virtual applications. So the first step in the process is to download and install the Storefront 3.0 update uh, on your Storefront servers. Now, if you have multiple servers that are load balanced, you want to make sure that uh, you remove um, the server that you're going to update from uh, the load balancing configuration uh, temporarily. That way users are not negatively affected by the update. The other thing you want to do before uh, you actually apply this is you want to restart your storefront server. Uh, that'll make sure that if there's any files that are open, um, those handles are actually released before applying the update. That'll make sure that the update completes uh, successfully. Now fast forwarding uh, a little bit, uh, my upgrade is completed and uh, now you can hit finish to complete the upgrade wizard. With Storefront 3.0, Citrix introduces a new theme, the X1 theme. And so you have a new look and feel for your end users. Now, when you perform the upgrade, that theme is not enabled by default. So you have to go in and enable it for all your sites and stores. So in order to do that, for example, for Receiver for Web, go to Receiver for Web, click the Disable Classic um, ex Receiver Experience button, right? And you're going to get this really nice prompt here that's going to warn you uh, about the effects of performing. Uh, this action, uh, go ahead and hit the disable button to accept it. And then it's going to start uh, applying the changes. It's going to start applying the new theme to that site. So make sure you do that for all your receiver for websites. After you're done here, then go to stores and do the same. If you fail to do that, what will happen is when users try to use a native receiver or they want to use one for mobile devices, the user experience is going to be disjointed because they're going to still have the uh, green bubble theme. 
And the last step of the process is to update the Netscalar Access Gateway login page. First thing you want to do is download the skin. So go to this web page here and uh, you scroll down a little bit and there should be a link where you can download the theme package for the new X1 theme. So download that. Then go to uh, WinSCP. We're going to log into our Netscaler. Once logged in, we're going to traverse a file system. So from root, we're going to go to var, Netscaler, QE, and then themes. And there's going to be a file in there already for the receiver theme. So we're going to rename it. In this particular case, I'm going to call it original. That way, if I need to revert back, I can easily do so. Then I'm going to drag and drop the new theme file into that directory. Okay, so now that it's been uploaded to the Netscaler, I'm going to modify uh, the Netscaler configuration. I'm going to update it so the theme takes effect. So from configuration, you're going to expand Netscaler Gateway, and you're going to go to Global Settings. From there, click Change Global Settings and then go into Client Experience and then scroll all the way down to you see Theme UI. So change it from Green Bubble and change it to Default. Then hit, hit OK. And go back to Change Global Settings. Go back to Client Experience. Scroll all the way back down. Change Default to Green Bubble and then hit OK. And this will force a new theme to take effect. Uh, make sure that you save your uh, Netscaler configuration because otherwise you're going to lose it. And as you can see, I was able to log in through my web browser uh, to Storefront, uh, and now I have a new theme. Right now I have the new X1 theme. I have access to my favorite apps, uh, my desktops, and uh, the entire app catalog. And here I've just launched the native Citrix receiver for Mac. And as you can see, I have the same user experience. I have the X1 theme. I have access to all my favorites. I have access to my virtual desktops and to the app catalog. And that's how to upgrade to Storefront 3.0.